for us non-Americans, Canadian here, uh, couldn't be more excited for Black Friday and Cyber Monday because finally I'm going to make some robotics purchases for Rover and we're going to fit him out with his solar panels, his Android tablet and a few extras. So let's go shopping. But first, a little message from Rover demonstrating a new function that he just learned in honor of the holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. If we do a refresh now on the command center, we see the command marked as executed with the latitude, latitude longitude already reported back from the Android tablet, so it's the full cycle. Basically, Rover fetched the command from the cloud, the command center web server, um, and then confirmed the command by actually posting the latitude and longitude from the Android tablet GPS module. Um, so communication back and forth, even with speech commands. And in honor of Thanksgiving, I thought it was a pretty cute demonstration. So those of you who have been following Rover's journey will be familiar with my notebook. And I've been sketching out all sorts of ideas over the past few days, trying to plan for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So let me show you a few of the ideas. I'm not going to reveal everything. I'm going to leave some mystery. What I've been contemplating essentially is how to mount the solar panel array. So we've got three of these panels to remember. Just as important, maybe actually more important, is getting the Android tablet in place, Rover's brain, in such a way that is accessible for us whenever we want it, and at the same time, not impinging on the solar array's ability to actually capture energy for Rover. So I've gone through all sorts of different variations. I've even thought about having the Android tablet mounted on the underside of a solar panel so that basically the solar panel can flip up and reveal the Android tablet. On top of that, you know, I started to think about the kind of next steps that I want for Rover and incorporating his ability to really interact with the environment, not just roll around, but really being able to know it's been on my mind and I really can't wait to have this incorporated in some way. It's been on my mind to say the least. When I started to think about how to incorporate this and the arm on which this would be mounted, I couldn't help but also incorporate how the Android tablet might fit within that design. And that really sent me on a spiral in terms of the different options and configurations that are possible. So to begin with, I just pulled up a few of the, just a few of the ads that I've been getting over the past few days coming up on Black Friday. And as you can see, we've got Make Block, um, Pol Pololu, Servo City, and RoboShop here. Uh, RoboShop, a treasure hunt that starts in 24 hours from now um, on, on Black Friday at, I guess, 11 a.m. Eastern it starts. And uh, they're going to be giving away stuff on their site. So after a lot of hunting around on different websites, I really focused in on roboshop.ca.com and their gripper section, their uh, arm and gripper category. And they've got a lot of different options ranging in price from, you know, kids' toys for 50 bucks or less even um, to, you know, upwards of several thousands of dollars um, for kind of professional grade stuff. And obviously for Rover, I want something that's somewhat capable. I want him to actually be able to do stuff in the real world. And that kind of necessitates having some ability to lift, you know, a somewhat significant weight. And by somewhat significant, I'm thinking of maybe half a kilogram, about 500 grams. Looking at all the options, the one that kind of appealed to me most from a capability standpoint was this one here. Um, you'll see, of course, that the, the prices here are in Canadian dollars. I think the US dollar equivalent is about 650. And, and this one is great for its lifting capability, which is exactly kind of my target of about half a kilogram. Um, that's at full reach. So, you know, when it's not at full reach, it's much more than that, um, which it sounds ideal. On the other hand, this is a little bit more heavy duty than I would probably want for Rover. Um, and the way in which they've got this configured really doesn't work with his chassis design. I want to do something that's maybe based on this concept, this product that they have, but do it in a way that fits within Rover's design. So one of the key considerations was how, where to mount the arm ultimately, but somewhere in this area here on the arm. And one of the main reasons, of course, is to get the weight off the central chassis. 
um, which more or less you want to have balanced because that basically allows Rover this ability to navigate terrain while maintaining the chassis somewhat level. Whereas on the arm, if we put additional weight here, because it's supported by the legs actually rolling over the ground, we can basically put as much weight on these arms as we want. It's not going to affect the chassis performance at all. However, you can see that the dimensions of the arm is one and a half inches. A lot of the designs for arms for manipulators rely on a base that's much broader than that, and that doesn't work. Whether you're an experienced roboticist or new to the hobby, I'm sure there's a few things that you've been wishlisting about and Black Friday, Cyber Monday is the perfect opportunity to take the leap, um, buy a few of the goodies that you've been thinking about and just start playing. Um, you'll be amazed with what you can learn and the imagination that it will spark within you. In the meantime, Happy Thanksgiving. Use the forums down below on YouTube or over on Rover's site. We'd love to hear from you guys, especially what you pick up for your own projects. Uh, subscribe to stay tuned and find out what we pick up for Rover. And we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving.